have no idea what you're about. Tell me in a sentence who you are. I'm nobody. I'm a tramp, a bum, a hobo. I'm a boxcar and a jug of wine. And a straight racer if you get too close to me. Believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. Select a mood. Uh... Uh, I'd be panicky, I think. Panicky. And I'd seek information. Even though you are driven to find out why your friend has suddenly disappeared, you are not in a frame of mind that would ensure a satisfactory outcome. You question everyone in the house as to the whereabouts of Weasley. How old am I? I don't even know. Of Weasley. You confront your mother who looks very guilty. Select an action. Calm yourself down and ask about the doll. Become hysterical and ask for the doll. Um... Hysterical. Your panic and hysteria makes your mom feel guilty about throwing out the doll. She spends an afternoon tracking it down and restoring it to mint condition, performing major surgery to ensure that Weasley will now be with you for a long while. Yay, Weasley! Yay! <laughs> Yay! What is this? Physical? Uh-oh. Social. While being taken to the park, your dad meets an old colleague, Buddy, who is wheeling a baby around you. Am I still a baby? I don't understand. As, as the two dads talk, you casually begin to eye the baby in the other carriage. Select a mood. Hmm. Hmm, curious. And put your finger near the other baby's face. A baby! You wonder if it has the same parts as you. Select an option. Touch the baby's face, touch the baby's arm. Well, I don't want it, I don't want that asshole to bite me, so I'm gonna touch his arm. The baby touches you back. You are exploring the environment and learning about one another. This causes your intellect and social spheres to increase. You seem to like one another. You've made your first friend! Yay! <laughs> That's how you make friends, kids. You touch each other. You are alone in the kitchen and begin exploring the closet and refrigerator. Select a mood. Ah, uh, curious but cautious. Yeah. In action, move towards the refrigerator, move towards the pantry. Ah, uh, hmm. The pantry. Yeah, there's probably some good stuff in there. You have a grand time examining and smelling many of the items in the kitchen. You are young, but have obviously learned that many things can hurt you if you put them in your mouth. You should know that some of the other choices could have led to your early death as a result of accidental poisoning. Oh, shit! Oh, jeez! Your judgment is superb and will help you in later life. Wow, okay. Damn, I didn't know that could happen. Alright, I, I should probably be a little bit careful with what the fuck I choose. Uh, intelli uh, intellect. You are touching something smooth and shiny. You pat it with your hand a few times. Select a mood. Uh, confused, yeah. Select an action, keep touching. It is flat and a little cool. Wait a minute, there's a baby in there. Who is that baby? Oh. Uh, well, you know what? I wouldn't know that it's me, so I'd say someone else. No, that's you. You are looking at yourself in a mirror. Isn't that a beautiful baby? Select an action. Yes. You are really quite stunning. You are developing a positive self-image. Ooh. Let's see. Social. You are a guest at your friend Billy's house. Is Billy the person I... Yeah, never mind. His mom gives you both a box of crayons and two pieces of paper. Select a mood. Uh... Hmm. Well, I do like... I do like to draw sometimes. So artistic and draw on the paper. You are behaving yourself very nicely so far. You draw a pretty picture. Select an action. Give it to Billy's mom. Give it to your mom. Um... Yeah, I'll give it to my mom. A very nice gesture. You can have a good time at somebody, uh, somebody else's house for a short while, but there's no place like home. Oh. Emotional. It is announced. 
to you during a heart-to-heart -heart talk that it is time for you to give up the bottle and drink from glass like a big boy. Select the mood. Uh, disappointed. Uh, select an action. Eh, give up the bottle. Forget it. I don't care. Mom understands how difficult it is to let go of an old friend and appreciates your effort. She has a box for you. Select the mood. Remain upset and not open it. Uh, I'll open it. I don't care. Oh boy, a plastic super duck drinking uh, drinking cup. What a uh, uh, with a bendable straw. Look at this. It even has your name on it. Mom tells you Super Duck wrote it there himself. Mom is lie, uh, well, laying it on a bit thick at the moment. Oh, Mom. We were sitting in a large place, and a furry man walks up to you. What? He's walking around you in circles. Furry man? What the fuck? Curious. Select an option. Point at the furry man. Make noises at. Talk to the furry man. You yell out to the furry man and he walks over to you. He makes a noise that sounds like roof and then sits on your leg. Oh, so it's a dog. Uh, I grab him? You grab his head between your two hands. Hey! Now that man is licking you all over your face. Mommy says he's kissing you. Uh, push him off. This man is heavy. This is good exercise. He looks back at you for a while as you're pushing him off and blows his nose right in your face. Screw you, dog. I need you, bull. You are in a large department store, waiting in line, and there is an extremely well-endowed woman standing in front of you. She smiles. It looks like she may be an interesting person to talk to. Select a mood. Uh... I would be shy, probably. Yeah. Uh, select an action. Ask her some questions. Be quiet. The lady begins to ask you questions. You are shy and a little bit afraid of her. She begins to chat with your mom. Are you beginning to feel more friendly to her? Uh, sure. Which questions would you like to ask her? Select an action. Hmm. Do you have a husband? Do you have a doggy? Mommy said that daddy has a thick skull. Do you? <laughs> I tried very hard to pinch a penny like Aunt Edna, but couldn't. Can you? Um. I'll ask her if she has a doggy. That seems like a question a kid would ask. She tells you, no, no doggy, only a cat. You inform her that Daddy said that that's what they cook in the restaurant at the corner. Perhaps you are interested in asking something else. Which questions would you like to ask? Uh, that's that's it. I don't. I could probably only ask that. You've caused your mother enough embarrassment for one day. Oh. Uh, you are alone in your parents' bedroom. There's a shiny silver quarter on the table. Select a mood. Mm. Coins. Dishonest. Uh, take the quarter. It is really questionable as to whether a child your age can tell whether something like this is truly right or wrong. You have a vague sense that you shouldn't have picked uh, picked it up. Your mother sees you stash something in your pocket and asks you what you have there. You say, nothing. <laughs> Her suspicion is immediately confirmed. She pries your hand open to reveal the silver coin. You look sheepish. Your knowledge of mine and yours is still rather primitive. She tries to explain why what you have done is wrong, but you may still be too young to understand. That's what I would have done anyway. Family. Daddy says it's time to go to bed. Select a mood. Cranky. Select an action. Ask to stay up a little while longer. Say, I don't want to go to bed. You fold your hands across your chest and look him straight in the eye. He laughs at you and begins to pick you up. You say, No! He says, Sorry, Tiger. And tucks you under his arm. Select an action. Uh, do nothing, I guess. Whatever. Good night. Dad says, Love you. Oh, alright. Fine. Be that way. It's Saturday morning, and Dad asks you to help with some chores. The Super Duck Cartoon Hour has just begun. 
Uh, select mood. Cranky. Select an action. Tell Dad you want to watch cartoons. He's like, Dad! Doper duck if something. something. Dad says, Come on, champ! Help me in the yard a little. How old am I that I'm helping in the yard? Dad! Dad sees your stubbornness and stops asking you. All he wanted was a little company. You acted very selfishly. He's outside now. Select an action. Uh, keep watching TV. That's what I would do. Super Duck is a repeat. So there. Oh, fuck you. You are in a sandbox playing with your favorite toy. A larger, stronger child pulls it away from you and screams, Mine! Angry! Fuck that dude! Grab it back! Yeah. The child seems much stronger than you. He puts three fingers in your mouth and tries to push you away. He's holding your metal toy above your head. Try and bite him. Bite that motherfucker. Crash! The metal toy comes down right in your head. Crash again! Crash again! You're beginning to feel dizzy. You cry out. Crash! Crash! He finally stops but your head and face are covered with blood. Your mother takes... Oh, his mother takes him away before either one of your parents can tell what happened. He was a problem child with a very aggressive tendency. He has done this to the other children, too. You you were treated unfairly. You know what? I'll fucking find you when I grow up, motherfucker. Just you wait. Just you fucking wait, asshole. Time to feed the fish. You pinch a small amount of fish food between your fingers and tap the glass. There is no sign of Gabriella. Confused. Look for Gabriella. You put your hand in the fish bowl and look for Gabriella. She is stuck under a rock. She is stiff and her eyes are puffed out. You think that she might be sick. Take her out. Again, something that's happened to me as a child. Take Gabby out of the bowl keep her with you in a secret place. Every once in a while, you put her in the bowl to see if she will swim. She just floats along the top of the water. You bring her a small piece of food and put it in her mouth. You're taking good care of her, but she's dead. By the time your mother finds out, you already understand more than she could explain to you. You are in the back seat of a car during a very long ride. Tired. Ah... I do. I guess I'd ask questions. Yes, the following questions. Uh, are we th almost there? Yep. Your mom says we'll be there in a few minutes. Ah, uh, go to sleep. You fall into a deep sleep and get carried out of the car by dad. Your mouth feels dry and you're very groggy. You were smart not to make a pain in the neck out of yourself. You just passed through infancy. A brief look at your life up to this time shows the following. Your family life has been not very good. You seem to be lacking the bonds that are so critical during this phase of life. Physical. You have been a healthy baby. Socially, during this phase in life, nothing much is really expected of you. After all, you're still much too young to throw a successful cocktail party. And frankly, anyone who is still dribbling on himself probably wouldn't make an ideal dinner guest. However, by now, there are some things you should have mastered. Your progress in this area shows you have been the type of child who charms the lollipops off people. You have been the type of child who is huggable and gets his cheeks pinched by old ladies with red lipstick. Okay. Now, regarding your emotional and personality development, you are not exactly the type of child who could be trusted to wash his hands before coming to the dinner table. If there is a piece of cake sitting in the refrigerator at noon, chances are it will be in your tummy by dinner. Your thoughtfulness characteristic doesn't re uh, really doesn't count for much in this module. Most children often find themselves at the mercy of their whims and impulses. You are allowed to be cranky now. People will tolerate it much better than when you were a teenager. Then your whining and carrying on will seem uh, more objectionable. objectionable. One thing about your character that has a tendency to put people off is your aggressiveness. You are a type of baby who likes to pull on loose pieces of clothing, hair, and any bulbous, fleshy object that comes within your reach. You are going to have to learn the meaning of make nice. 
that wraps up your status for the first module. I hope you like yourself. If not, you can always try to improve yourself in the modules to come. There's plenty of time. Next. Continue. Practice yourself for heaven's sake and blah 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 blah. Welcome to childhood. Oh wait, what about those other things? What about those other things? I thought I was... Oh man. Did I, did I miss... Oh, intellectual, a hundred. Yeah! Fucking smart as shit. So wait. Hmm. I guess you can pretty much do any of them? Right? I'm a little confused. Uh, in that case, let's do this. You arrive at the dentist and discover. Oh, damn it! And discover that you have four rather large cavities that need to be filled. Select a mood. Mm, brave. Block out the sensation with your mind. The status sheet suggests that emotionally you are not capable of performing such a feat. The pain sneaks into your consciousness, but it is not unbearable. This experience will toughen you up for the next time. Ooh. While rummaging around the kitchen drawer, you come across a book of matches. Ah, uh, Curious. Select an action. Put the book of matches away. Light one in the kitchen. Take the matches to your room and close the door. Now that you have the matches in your room, you can strike a match. You are mesmerized by the spark and the flash of the match. You watch it burn down to the end of the shaft. A thin wisp of smoke snakes its way to the ceiling of your room. You can strike another match. Again, you watch the match burn. You pass the palm of your hand over the top of the flame and feel the heat. You can strike another match. I love matches so much. This time, you light the match. Then light a second one with the flame of the first. You have them through the air and make designs with the fire. You can light a small piece of paper. Ooh. Yes. You roll up a piece of note. Oh, this is a bad idea. Uh, oh, crap. A uh, piece of paper and carefully uh, watch it burn. It burns much faster than the match itself. And before you know it, you, are, you get stung by the heat of the flame as it touches your hand. Instinctively, you release the paper. The, the burning paper lands on your bedspread and instantly ignites the fabric. You can... Ooh. Try to put out the fire. The more you try to extinguish the flame, the worse the fire gets. Smoke fills your room and you can no longer find the door, which you locked before. You pass out. You wake up in the hospital with burns covering 30% of your body. No one else in your family is injured, but the house is considerably damaged. Oh no! Oh no! 30%? That's a lot. Damn. Um. Uh, let's see. Let's do, let's do these. While you are outside playing alone, a car pulls over to the side of the road and the driver motions you to come over. You notice the license plate says. I don't even... I, I would never remember that. Select the mood. Suspicious. Stay where you are. Yeah. He motions you to come closer. He has a kind enough face. You hear him say that he is a policeman looking for a friend of yours. He asks if you will get in and help him find your friend. You can walk or run away. Get in the car. Tell him that you can't do that. Tell him you can't do that. He opens the door on your side. You turn to run away. He catches you and drags you into the car. You are kidnapped, tortured, and eventually killed. The game is over. What the fuck? What? No! <laughs> Thank you for playing Alter Ego. You have died. Awesome. 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 Great. Well, that was Alter Ego. I might try again at some point, but... Just, uh, yeah. Fuck.